Good morning, everyone. As always, place your cross on first. You know, um, I had some crazy dreams last night. I just want to talk about it, people. You know, there are people out there that try to prey on you in the night season. He said some people can't sleep unless they have done wickedness or if they have caused someone to stumble. Think in the form of sorcery, witchcraft, voodoo type thing. You understand? But I woke up and the Lord told me to pray. I went right back to sleep. But I was dreaming about spiders all up on me. You understand? And certain people, individuals. And it's the second time I had a dream about these individuals, but it's okay. May the Lord be with me. And so when you wake up in the night, sometimes you're having those bad dreams, you're having those nightmares. Wake up, pray, seek the Lord. He's going to do what he do best. He's going to bring whatever they're trying to do to you upon them. May the hole or the pit that they dug, may they fall into it themselves. Put your cross on at all times. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Yesterday I started reading Proverbs chapter 13. and I don't know, it just felt like that's what I need to read today. So that's what I'm going to read. Proverbs chapter 13. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A wise son hears the father's instruction. Just think about your earthly father. You're supposed to listen to them. Now think about your heavenly father. He's talking about his instructions. But a scorner here not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. But the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. All right, people, I was talking about sorcery, witchcraft, things like that. When these people cast their spells and do their incantations, do the things that they do, they use their mouth. They use words. They write down, they prescribe misfortune or whatever they do. It's all about words. You understand? He said, with our mouth, we bless God and curse men. It should not be this way. You understand? We don't supposed to wish people harm. Thing about sorcery and witchcraft, people, I'm going to tell you something about that. It's taking matters in your own hand. You see, he said, let your requests be known to God. Okay, you make a request to God, just like a DJ at the club. Could you play Juvenile, back that thing up, and they choose not to play it? It's up to them. They, they the DJ. They ain't got to play it. They can play what they want. So when you're making your request known to God, he's going to do what's best for you. So just keep in mind, it was a request. One thing about these witchcraft, they're trying to make things happen. Hunt the souls of the innocent. Do you understand? I don't know why that's on my mind, but hey, take heed to that. You see, that's why it's so deadly. People are trying to play God. They're trying to curse whom God has blessed, or blessed whom God has chose to turn his back on. You see what I'm saying? With God, his righteous will is perfect. You come to him, you pray to him, you make a request to him, and he's going to do what's best for you. He's not going to do what you want him to do. Oh, but the Bible says he gives you the desires of your heart. All right, then. I want a million dollars right now. I don't have it. Sometimes the thing that your desire want, that you want, is not lining up what God wants for your life. You understand? You can't use that for some cases and not for all cases. A lot of people use that when they see him. Oh, God must have gave me the desires of my heart. Yeah, right. If it goes against his word, I don't think so. Do you understand? Let's keep going. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Now look what he said. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. It's the soul, spiritual. Some of y'all are sluggish in your spiritual journey. Hmm. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. A righteous man hate lying. If you like lying, something wrong. 
you like bearing false witness, something wrong with you. It's not normal to hate the liar. Now, if it's normal to you, you might want to seek counsel from the Most High God. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthrow of the sinner. You know, in the Bible it says, evil shall destroy the wicked. So the thing is, you ain't trying to be evil, you ain't trying to be wicked. Hmm. There is that maketh himself rich, yet have nothing. There is, he, there is that maketh himself poor, yet have great riches. Hmm. Here it is again. Is he talking about financial gain? He can't be. It say a poor man has great riches. It's a mindset. Be content with things as you such have. Some people can't work, stop working unless they got a certain amount of money. But they happy, huh? I work hard for this. You work a little too hard sometimes. I'm just being real with y'all who y'all dollar chasers out there. You understand? Y'all dollar chasers. You get down to $20, you're oh Lord, I got a good, oh Lord. Be happy. And your storehouse will be full. Whole oh, crap. Like a lot of times people, I'm not overflowing with cash flow. But I know one thing, glory be to God, I can look in that refrigerator and see food. I can look in those cabinets and see canned goods. I can see cereal, milk. I can see things, my bills are paid. Holy crap, great is the Lord. I'm just saying, y'all better start looking at a different dang picture. A lot of y'all are in debt right now because every time you get a raise, you go get something else. Lord, can you just give me one more raise, Lord? Okay. God is ain't for to keep giving you raises. God is for to tell you, manage your funds well. Or you're going to lose what you got. You understand? I'm telling y'all people, y'all better pay attention to what I'm telling you. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. Now, here it is, the Lord talking about the poor now. The poor heareth not rebuke. Let's take those people that beg and beg and beg every time you see them at the store. Every time you see them at the store, all right, can I get a dollar? After, after the third dollar, you're going to be like, hey, man, you ever thought about trying to find a job to work? You're wrong for that, huh? I'm just saying, if, if somebody keep coming to you for help, all right, the Lord keeps sending this same poor person my way. Hey, pray, you pray for the wrong thing. Like I tell people all the time, you can help somebody, but can you heal someone? Help don't necessarily mean healing. You go on five dollars. If you get certain people the same thing over the every day, they're gonna look for you. They're not going to look for a job to come. They're going to look for you to come. You understand? Now you're their God. Now you got control over them. Some people like that job. They get their rocks off by helping people. Then, you know, I helped on somebody the other day, Chris Rock. Look at me, God. Forget you, Chris Rock. I know you don't believe, you didn't believe for real. Stop using my father and your comedy specials. Talk about the Muslims or something. Let's be scared. The light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. The lamp of the wicked shall be put out. So, what happens if you keep doing wickedness? Your lamp will be put out. Only by pride come of contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. You see, the Bible talks about the children of pride a lot. There's something about that pride. And I used to be, I am still somewhat prideful. I think we all are. But you got to be careful with that pride. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Pride? You're going to be so high in pride that you're going to be a, one of the children of Lucifer. That's Beyonce. <laughs> if you can reach her. Uh, Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. God wants you to work an honest living. Well, what's an honest living? Use the spirit that dwells in you. You know what an honest living is. You know what an honest, non-legitimate nine to five is. 
You watch enough movies. You see a lot of things in this world. You know what an honest living is. Hmm. Come on now. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. You know, uh, growing up in the hood, down the bay, I watched so many drug dealers gain so many riches. Fire, fire cars, nice cars, pictures at the club. You know, chilling with their five homies. Guess what all of them do now? Most of them work legitimate jobs for the city. They realize something. Uh, if I keep doing this, I'm not going to go, I'm going to die, or I'm going to go to jail. So I guess I just get a legit job. And I'm glory be to God on that, that they left that stuff alone. But something had to click at them, like, you know what, I can't keep doing this. You understand? I need a real job. I don't care if it's Waffle House, whatever. Some clicked at them. So all you youngsters out there that try to be like these rappers that talk about they gangster and they sell dope, look at what's going on with Young Thug. He had a legitimate, a legitimate uh, contract to make music. All he had to do is that. But he wanted to take it a little further. I want to be Scarface. Now you're going to be Scarface in prison. You know, one thing, I remember Young Thug said this a few years ago. If I go to prison, I'm going to be a girl. So I can be locked up with the women. Well, God heard you and said, you're a man. And uh, now you'll be locked up with men. And you got your desire of your heart. Hmm. I, think, I guess he thought he'd have enough time to go through the surgery or something. You understand? But he didn't. Now you're in jail. He didn't keep it his mouth, keep it his life. But he that opened it wide his lips shall have destruction. Be careful what you say out your mouth, people. God is above. You are below. Words made, promises made to the Lord are binding. Some things you came out your mouth, you can't. You, everything you come out your mouth can't take back. Hope that furrow make up the heart sick. But when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. Faith is the belief in things hoped for, right? Like you hoping for these things. You know, when you're in the process of hoping, it's kind of makes you on the edge. But then when your prayer is finally answered, and the Lord give you that thing that you, your heart desires, when you start lining up with him, and you're like, oh, Lord, God is so good. But in the meantime, you're like, Lord, what in the world? I understand. I understand, people. You understand, too. Hope. Just like you kids that go to college. You don't know you're going to graduate. You don't know you're going to make it. But when you make it, you're like, oh, man, I made it. School, whatever. Here you go. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. But if that's not a prophecy, I don't know what it is. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. The fear of the Lord is beginning of understanding. A lot of people despise this word. You see, the devil have them keep studying all these other books. You see, you might not think you despise it. But if you don't study it, if you don't look at it, if you don't pick it up, and eat it, it's just like you despising it. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Oh, look at how those go hand in hand together. The law of the wise. Good understanding give a favor, but the way of transgressions is hard. If you don't read this Bible, Oh, why am I life? Why am I going through some stuff? Oh, you didn't call no Lord. You just why am I going through? Stuff? Every time I get on my feet, I get knocked down. Oh Lord, have mercy. Every time, so who you calling? Oh, who you talking to? For real, I just want to know. You know who you complaining to? The universe. The universe sitting there don't give a damn about you. But God, He gives a damn. <laughs> he gives a damn. Stop giving credit to the universe. Give credit to the creator of the universe. Makes sense. You rebellious children. You understand? Trying to figure out hard times. 
just to disrespect God, you want to say you're the universe because you don't want to say God. What's wrong with you? <laughs> that makes no sense to me. The universe has helped me. The universe. Okay. Tree. I'm going to talk to this tree right quick. Hey, tree. That tree ain't going to do nothing for me. But what it's supposed to be doing right now. It grew without me. You understand? I can't do nothing to this stuff. I can't make one hair on my head white or gray or black unless I use dye, but I can't just, you understand? Why would the universe, <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to talk to y'all people, man. Y'all better start reading this Bible. Because uh, who so despises this word shall be destroyed. The thing is, you might live this life out that you live in right now, full of wickedness and with smiles and happiness with a bunch of friends. But in the end, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. When you wake up from your slumber, you might wake up in hell. Huh? But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. But the people who love the Lord and try to read his word and study his word are going to wake up and be like, man, it's the best place I've ever been in. A lot of y'all be like, I thought I was living in hell, but this is hell. I made my heaven on earth and look at earth now. And look at that temple. I, I want to make it there. Too late. You have your reward. Good understanding giveth favor. But the way of transgressions is hard. You see, uh, years ago I was at a bar and I was chilling. I was just going through ups and downs and a random dude came to me. We was talking and we started talking about God. He said, you know, I was just struggling at my job. I was doing this. I was doing that. And I'm like, what's going on? He was like, you know what, man? I just said, I just started asking the Lord for a favor. So he had to know something. He might have read that line right there. But uh, after a while, I said, you know what? I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try to ask for favor. And I've been favored ever since. Glory be to God. You understand? You see, when you try to pray for the desires of your heart sometimes, you might ask, be asking for the wrong things. Now you're mad because you figure God ain't answering your questions or doing what he said he'll do for you. But we ask for favor. That's Joseph. <laughs> That's Joseph how he was faithful. Hey, man, you know, you so you so favored that I'm going to put you over my kingdom. I'm going to put this ring on your finger. Ain't nobody going to be higher than you. Daniel. You so smart, you interpreted of dreams. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he was like, I'm gonna give you these clothes. He was like, I don't want your stuff. Daniel, like, I don't want that junk. You understand? He, he interpreted the dream. He gave it to him anyway. <laughs> gave it to him anyway. And then the rest of Daniel's life, people still trying to go against Daniel. Hey, we got a trap, said Daniel, man. Make a decree that uh, you can't pray to no God, but this, your God. And Daniel went and prayed to his God like he always do. And they threw him in the lion's den. And Nebuchadnezzar was like, hey, man, pray to your God. He's going to save you. And he prayed. And then Nebuchadnezzar fasted. And he went in there and he saw, he called for Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, like, what's going on, man? Okay, come on out. The blind, he set the mouths of the lion. That's called favor. And then, guess what happened to everybody? All his transgressions. Uh oh, hmm. who does the despise of the word shall be destroyed. I, I don't like him or his God. Put him, his family, his children, his wife, everybody in there. And the lions had a good feast on their bones. And then after that, guess what happened? Nebuchadnezzar was like, everybody finna worship this God. Oh, this goes back to what I said. Nebuchadnezzar was a man who the Lord chose. He broke Nebuchadnezzar down and let him understand who God is. Oh, y'all ain't see that part in Babylon. You understand? He chastised uh, Nebuchadnezzar enough that he started believing in God. Favor. Maybe because he favored Daniel. Because he was doing his prophets no harm. Or tried to. But he loved Daniel. Let me pause right there and I will continue, people.